Um, I'd say very little to none at all, right? We have no, we put no weight on it because what an appraiser does is he goes out and looks at other sales that have happened in that area within the last maybe six, three to six months or so. And the past doesn't necessarily always tell us anything about the future, right? That's the most obvious thing. It's a estimate that you look on at Zillow. Right? It's easy. Anybody can say, oh, that property is worth $200,000. That's why it's important to know what you're looking for, know the neighborhood better. What's that property gonna be worth three months from now? You should be able to know that if you know what you're looking for. And that's how you can start pricing your offers and getting a little bit better and gaining an edge on the other people that you're competing with. And it also depends on which strategy that you're really uh, using in real estate, right? I mean, so we are, we're buy and hold, we purchase rent, rental properties. So when we look at a property, we look at the income approach. How much is that property going to be making us and how much are we going to be profiting at the end of the day? Appraisers don't do that with single family houses and duplexes. They look at a total different approach. So we might see value in a property that appraiser will not see the same value. Yeah, it's a difference between doing a comparables approach to pricing it out to an income approach. And all investors, they're looking at income. The other thing that's interesting is if you're doing buy and hold, which we are, we're looking at our cash flow, right? We want to have a certain return on our money. But somebody who's flipping that property they're gonna be looking at their profit, right? Based off of how much they have to invest in it and how much then they can resell it for. Mm -hmm. Same thing for somebody who's snap flipping. So each person is gonna come up with, if you look at the three different Completely types of different real estate, value, right? all different values. We know when a property is really gonna go more to a flipper because there's more profit in it in the short term versus maybe a rental property that has more profit over the long term. So again, knowing the type of property you're looking for and knowing how everybody else is valuing it is gonna make you a lot more competitive when you're making your offers. All the different uh, values that you're gonna come up with for a property, they're gonna be different based off of the type of real estate, whether it's flipping, snap flipping, or buy and hold. You're gonna have a different calculation.